Hi everybody, this video is requested by Kim Bite. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your GI code into the template. So you need to have the uh, horse open, obviously. Make sure it's a PNG format. And you need to also have the actual template. This is a template here. And I've got them open in two windows. I'm using Cor uh, a trial version of Corel Painter 2016, but this the process of this is much the same in GIMP or a lot of those other programs like Photoshop and so forth. So we've got the picture of the horse here. So what you could do is you could put the template on the horse. But the thing is, the template has to be kept a certain size. So what I'm going to do, and much is much safer to do, is put the horse on the template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to try and get a tight box around the horse. But one of the things to do, probably before you move it onto the template, I think is a good idea, is to check that there is no stray pixels. So what I mean by this is that there's no, like, for just for example, I'll draw something. Say, for example, there was a big green patch. Actually, hold on, that's the... We'll just undo that brush that brush stroke. So say for example on your horse you had by accident some little stray bits here that maybe whatever you were um, cutting out the horse that you'd forgot about. So they're sitting inside. You don't want stray pixels or anything like that because sometimes if they touch the side of the template then you actually can't upload your image. So it's very important to make sure that it's you've cleaned your um, all anything stray so we're just going to delete that so I think the best thing to do when you're doing this is to basically get a really bright color maybe something like a bright red just something that's very contrasting to your actual picture that you've drawn and whenever you have that go to the canvas and make sure you're on the canvas that's below so you want to have these on layers you need to use layers so make sure that you whatever you draw it goes behind. So if we look around that horse we can see that there's pretty much no stray pixels. There's nothing there that we don't really want. So we're happy enough for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick over to the layer with the actual ho horse on and I'm going to use the rectangular selector. So I'm going to go around the side of the horse and I'm going to click cut. So that'll cut that out of the frame. Now I'm going to ignore this and I'm going to drag this over. So this is this is the template. So I'll just make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Oh, I've lost it. Hold on. So with the template, what we want to do now is we want to put the horse into the template. So what I'll do is I'll click edit and paste. So we'll click paste. Now you'll see it will bring it should automatically bring it onto a new layer. Make sure that it does. Now you can see right now the horse is too big. So we're going to have to resize that. Now you should be able to resize. You can resize before you put it in the template or um, during. Now I know how to do it during, but if you maybe would feel more comfortable to do it before you put it in, you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this so if we can I'm trying to remember how to resize this I know that I can free transform okay so transform so I'm going to scale this so right now it's too big so let's try 50% that looks a lot closer so I'll click OK and I think I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to commit to that transformation. So you can see that there, the horse is just big enough to go in. Now you might need to sort of mess around with this a little bit and see if you can get it exactly how you want it, because you need to make sure that it's not touching the sides, it's not over the sides, it's not anywhere that it's touching the black line. So what I'm going to do again, because this is very handy, is to turn on the canvas and go down to the bottom layer, and what I'm going to do is I am going to get the brush tool and colour in the back. Now you don't want to do this and upload it like that because you don't want it like that but I'm doing it to make sure that it's not touching the sides anywhere and you can see it's not touching the side there there's nothing touching there or anything around here and one of the things as I mentioned earlier the reason you want to make sure your image is completely clean is because if there's any pixels at all touching that black line in the template you can't upload it it won't let you so um, I'm gonna unselect the canvas because we don't want to see the canvas we want to make sure it's clear you want to be able to see these little checkered boxes because that means it's transparent. So I'm happy now that that image is in. So what I would want to then do, you know, you can sometimes do it, is drag the layer on above it. If you drag the layer above it, what will happen? I'll just quickly show you this. The horse is now behind. And it doesn't really matter which you choose, okay? It doesn't matter. I just tend to put the template either below or above. So then what you will want to do is then you'll want to save it. So you want to click file and then save as, and then it'll ask you what type of file it wants you to save up and make sure you save it as a PNG.
Mac, sure, it has to be a PNG, and then save it somewhere that you can easily find it, and it should automatically merge those together. Now, sometimes you will have to go over here and merge them down together. Um, now, make sure if it has the eye, you know, that that's, if you saved it like that, you wouldn't be able to see the horse, so you make sure you've got that right. Make sure you haven't got the canvas showing, you want to see that transparency. So that is how to move your horse into the template. Um, it will be a little bit different for different programs. I don't have access to different programs, so I can't really show you that, but it's just the principles are kind of the same. There are definitely a lot of good, really good tutorials out there, but um, that's kind of how you want to do it, and it's probably the simplest way. And make sure you don't re resize the template. You can resize your horse, but don't resize the template. So anyway, guys, thank you to Kim Bite for a crest of video, and I hope you love your day. Bye, guys.